A lawyer, Mr. Joseph Donald, has said the Police Service Commission, PSC, didn't indict suspended Deputy Commissioner of Police, Abakiari. The statement reads, saying, the Police Service Commission letter says from all the investigations done, including facts that have emerged, Abakiari has not been found to have committed any crime, any criminal offense that we warrant court trial. Hence, they still needed more evidence and more investigations from the police in the next two weeks to prove their case or else their criminal case against Kayari cannot hold. Through investigations, thorough investigations were conducted. All bank accounts were checked and no dime was linked to Abakiari directly or indirectly. All persons related to the case and others related to persons related to the case were invited and investigated but still no dime was linked to Kayari. Many say insiders felt the police panel investigated the case to get evidence against Kayari, but still Kayari was not found wanting for any criminal case or receiving one dime from anybody. The person who received the 8 million naira as testified before the police panel and gave a statement that exonerated Kayari completely. He stated that he discussed sent his account details and collected 5 million naira on april 4th 2020 and 3 million naira on september 4th 2020 for the buying of some goods for one morgan who is based in dubai without kiari's knowledge he further stated that six weeks later after having disagreement with morgan he morgan reported him to kiari through hush puppy since morgan didn't have kiari's phone number the account owner said he had transactions with Morgan and not Osh Poppy and that the money in question celebrated by the media belongs to Morgan and not Hush Poppy. He stated further before the panel that the that he was surprised by the way the FBI and the media were desperately trying to link his transaction with Morgan to Kayari. He also argued that how can is this money sent to him by Morgan for buying goods be linked to an arrest Kayari made five months earlier in January 2020. All the accounts of this person who received the 8 million naira were checked and the account statement was obtained from the banks. The panel saw how he received the 8 million naira and spent it within the first week of April 2020 without giving a dime to Kayari. All the persons he had transactions with relating to the money were invited and none of them have any link to Kayari or gave him any money also the promise hush puppy made to reimburse the police team that went to four states to arrest vincent as indicated in his chat with kayari was investigated thoroughly and it was confirmed that hush puppy didn't send any money bank account details obtained from a new generation bank and statements of the account owner were very clear that no one dime was sent by Osh Poppy as he promised. It's pertinent to know that everything that was released by the media is the content of Osh Poppy's phone and not Osh Poppy's direct statement against Kayari. No evidence of Osh Poppy's confessions against Kayari was seen in the media or received by the panel. The arrest and investigation of Vincent Kelly were also done in four weeks following a court order issued by the courts in Nigeria. The police team was authorized to detain and investigate him for over 20 internet crimes he confessed to have committed with Osh Poppy and others in Malaysia, Cyprus and South Africa. Kayari stated that the WhatsApp chat released to the media are part of a sting investigation to know more about Osh Poppy's activities, his syndicate members and also lure him to Nigeria since the arrest of Vincent had exposed his criminal activities, it was also discovered that Kayari knew Osh Poppy for nine months. Also, no evidence of Kayari's involvement in Osh Poppy's crimes was discovered. Osh Poppy wanted Kayari to jail innocent Vincent using armed robbery charges. He was seen in his chat with Kayari. Kayari was playing along to get more information about his activities and lure him to Nigeria without Osh Poppy suspecting that. He and Vincent are under investigation. Kayari wisely granted Vincent's bail on health grounds against the wishes of Osh Poppy because Kayari visited 
but Kayari insisted Vincent was sick. If Kayari was to follow Oshpopi's wishes, Vincent would have been treated and charged with armed robbery as Oshpopi wanted. This explains why Oshpopi decided not to reimburse the police team that arrested Vincent as he freely promised to do so earlier in January 2020. Kayari was introduced to Oshpopi in Dubai the same way many prominent Nigerian politicians, businessmen and celebrities were introduced to him in Dubai. Kayari's exploits in Nigeria police for more than two decades have resulted in the arrest of thousands of deadly criminals across the country. Nigerians should disregard all the sponsored fake news on social media coming from purported source, sources and wait for the official states by the police service commission. Yes, now, Kayari is discharged and acquitted. You are not giving us history. Nigeria should not follow. Okay, we can hear. We now see. Hmm, some selected comments coming from Yahoo Boys. Abakari is coming back for you guys. Stop Yahoo kidnapping business for your own good. Must he be sent outside the country before you're going to be satisfied? The man has not done anything wrong. Please call him back to work. We are really missing him. Nigeria always judged by hearsay. Kayari is very disciplined, but people may hate him because may hate him because God has lifted him up. Hmm, you are very correct. And you believe Abakari. Ha, we don't need to put sentiments to issue. We don't need to put sentiments to issue. <laughs> story, story. I would I would have believed you if you had sent him to America in the first place and allowed the investigation to begin from there by FBI. It is only a full appropriate and a corrupt-minded tribal by God that we believe this uh, reports. If truly Kayari knows that he's a clean is clean from FBI accusation. He should willingly go to FBI in USA and clear his name with what the old world we know, or with that the old world we know that the accusation is false. Osh Poppy is still alive. Let him go to US so that they both confront each other. This is Badadash. The man is guilty. Period. S. Why not give him up to FBI to prosecute him? So that he can defend himself. Can you imagine? Well, God bless those that did the investigation, but some people are wicked in Nigeria. Well, we are not expecting anything different. This is what Nigerians have been expecting. Who is expecting police service commission to unite Kiari? Definitely no one in nation without a conscience. We still have interest in Abba Kiari gallantry service. But why Kiari suspension is still holding? If you have done your due diligence. Every conspiracy theory against Bakari, let's see how it's going to turn out to be. Where was he when Egypt told them go less? Let him go to America and defend himself. You can call him back to work by yourself, bros. Nigeria, my country. Hmm. 